and the laser will make a beeping sound and that tells me that we're delivering like appropriate amounts of energy. Dr. Baja Maholsky recommends this laser treatment okay. for a few cosmetic reasons. To treat brown spots on the skin, also for facial rejuvenation, decreases pore size. Fraxel laser is a non-ablative fractionated laser, which means that it's not breaking the top layer of skin. It's delivering all of its energy into the dermis, which is that second layer of skin right under our epidermis. Maholsky is an assistant professor of dermatology at Washington University School of Medicine, and she's a dermatologist for Washington University Physicians. So I went one, two, three, four. We need a total of eight passes for a full treatment. The non-ablative fractional laser is performed by dermatologists, or it may be offered at a plastic surgeon's office. This is called the Fraxel Dual. So the Fraxel Dual is the name of the laser, and the Dual refers to the two wavelengths of the Fraxel. So there's a 15-15 nanometer, um, which goes a little bit deeper, so it's delivering energy into the deep dermis of the skin. And so it's targeting those deeper acne scars or those deeper lines and wrinkles, you know, improve the texture of the skin. The 1927 nanometer laser, that's a thulium laser, and it's targeting water. And the idea is that it helps kind of pull those brown spots off the skin. So good for facial rejuvenation. How are you doing? Great, thank you. Dr. Maholsky says the laser has added benefits. Also been already studied for treatment of precancers, and so it does treat precancers as well. The next step was a study out of Mass General Hospital. It was published in 2023, so just a few months ago, and it was one of our laser experts in the country. The small study by a team of researchers at Massachusetts General Hospital suggests the laser treatment may help to prevent the development of common types of non-melanoma skin cancer diagnosed in the United States. But I do tell patients about the study because I think it's, it's interesting. The study reviewed the records of 43 skin cancer patients who received the laser therapy and 52 skin cancer patients who did not have the laser treatment. The skin cancer patients typically have a 35% risk of developing new cancer within three years and a 50% risk of recurrence within five years. So patients who did not have the laser treatment had a 2.65 increased risk and over two-fold or two times increased risk of skin cancer compared to the patients who did have the laser treatment. That's the exact rhythm that I want. The study that was recently published showed that the Fraxel dual treatment can both reduce the risk of precancers, so actinic keratoses, and it can also reduce the risk of non-melanoma skin cancers. The idea too of like why does it reduce your risk of skin cancer, it's possible that it decreases the mutational burden of our skin, so if we're actually removing small fractions of the skin, maybe we're reducing the overall mutations on the skin surface from photo damage or from sun. And if future studies with the laser treatment show more success preventing skin cancer, Maholsky wants to know the specific procedural guidelines for effectiveness. But I would be curious to know is in the future, what laser setting do we need to use that truly reduces that risk of skin cancer? Because there are two different wavelengths that kind of combined everything in this study, um, but it's a really important first step. For now, Maholsky says telling her patients about the possibility of cancer prevention helps them feel better about choosing the cosmetic procedure. It is exciting and it's something that I, I do mention to patients as an added benefit. I wouldn't necessarily market it as a treatment for skin cancer at this point.